the sumo highlights. Konnichiwa and thanks for joining us. It's day 13 of the May tournament. Yokozuna Grand Champion Kakuryu is now in second place at one loss. Kakuryu's lone setback was on day 4, but has since won 8 straight matches to stay at one loss and right behind the tournament leader Tochi Noshin, who's at 12 and 0. So Kakuryu well in the championship race. There is the leader's board as we head into day 13. Hakuho two off the pace of Tochi Noshin. Will Tochi Noshin deliver again today to take another step closer toward his second Empress Cup? We will answer that question in today's Grand Sumo Highlights. Here we go, we begin with Sadanomi 7 and 5 against Chiono Kuni 9 and 3. Sadanomi is making a late surge, he's won his last three. The remaining days are crucial for Chiono Kuni, he has a decent chance to pick up his first special prize. Chonokuni comes in hard and gets a firm grip on Sadanomi. Chonokuni keeps chugging ahead and defeats Sadanomi. What a quick offense by Chonokuni. With 10 wins now, if he picks up another win or so, I would not be surprised seeing Chonokuni receiving his first Sansho special prize. Chonokuni advances to 10 and 3. Don't blink because Shiro Kuni attacks so fast with his blistering speed. He goes deep inside of Sadanomi and he doesn't rest. He goes forward for his Yorikiri frontal force out victory. Next up it is Aoyama taking on Takakeisho, both men 7 and 5 after 12 days. Aoyama enters today with a 5 match winning streak. Takakeisho too has scored nothing but wins in the past five days. Aoyama pummels Takakeisho. Takakeisho taking a lot of punishment, but he refuses to back off. Takakeisho rallies his walloping attack and takes the Bulgarian out. Takakeisho gets his Kachikoshi or more wins than losses secured. And it's his first Kachikoshi in three tournaments. And Takakeisho now wins for the sixth straight day. An overwhelming initial charge by the Bulgarian Aoyama. Aoyama keeps walloping his opponent Takakeisho by keeping him at dead center. But Takakeisho doesn't back off. Takakeisho now rallies. Takakeisho starts his drive with his pushing and thrusting attack. And he gets the job done. It's Okinomi versus Aminishiki, the two veterans. They fought 14 times in the past. Okinomi leads the series 8 to 6. Okinomi, one more loss will give him a Makekoshi. Aminishiki cannot just move forward with bad wheels this time. It must be tough. The two lock up. Aminishiki has a deep left and inside. Now has a right hand outside grip working with his forehead buried into Okinomi's chest. Okinomi trying to get a grip with his right hand. He can't, so he drives forward. But Aminishiki counters with an overarm throw. And he takes the match. The 39-year-old veteran prevails. And it's a Makekoshi losing record for Okinomi, his third consecutive Makekoshi. Aminishiki gets his win number three. He cannot move forward that much this tournament, but he knows what to do with his grip. Once he gets a belt grip, he becomes a magician. He is very skillful. Working with the Mawashi. Right there, he doesn't let go. And Okinomi has a trouble. Okinomi wants to get some kind of grip with his right hand, trying to get it, but look at Aminishiki defending him nicely. Not giving him any kind of grip. So Okinomi decides to go forward. Aminishiki opens up his stance and hits the throw. 
It's Miyogiryu versus Kagayaki. Miyogiryu, nice record, 9 and 3. Kagayaki, a win away from making his Kachikoshi. Miyogiryu has risen from the ashes. Physically, he is looking so much better. Kagayaki, again, is a win away from hauling in his Kachikoshi. More wins than losses. Kagayaki starts fast and knocks Miyogiryu back. Miyogiri is working hard to get an inside position and he advances, but Kagayaki brings him down to the clay. Kagayaki scores a Kachikoshi. Miyogiri now 9 and 4. Kagayaki gets his win number 8, and again, that is, is Kachikoshi, a majority of wins secured in this 15 day contest. Good initial charge by Kagayaki driving Miyogiryu back, but Miyogiryu recovers. Miyogiryu gets an inside position and goes, but Kagayaki gets an arm lock with his left arm and hurls Miyogiryu. Up next, it is Yoshikaze 6-6, six six, facing off Kyoku Taisei 8-4. Very first meeting. For the Shinyumaku rookie, Kyoku Taisei, wedding reception awaits the 28-year-old rookie. That's one reason why he is highly motivated. Yoshikaze says his day 9 victory was his best sumo ever. In that match, he simply smoked Sada Naomi. Yoshikaze blasts his body against Kyoku Taisei and advances, but Kyoku Taisei so goes away and drags Yoshikaze down to the deck. The Shinyumaku rookie sensation continues. Kyoku Taisei racks up his ninth win, 9 and 4. Maybe a special prize could be given to this man too, Kyoku Taisei, with one more win or two. But Kyoku Taisei moves so well at the edge. So here he is. The rookie is smiling big time. A happy camper. It is Tochi Ozan versus Chiyomaru. Things are clicking for Tochi Ozan this contest. He has a chance to get his first Kachikoshi in five tournaments. Chiyomaru's performance has been erratic this tournament. He looks brilliant one day and then looks lethargic the next day. Tochozan rushes into Chiyomaru, Chiyomaru blocks him and shoves him away. Tochozan gains an inside grip, but backpedals. Tochozan now drives, but Chiyomaru so goes away and shows his amazing footwork. Chiyomaru stays alive inside the ring, but Tochozan finally nudges him out. Chiyomaru did put up an impressive resistance, but Tochozan puts him away in the end. Tochozan secures his Kachikoshi, a majority of wins. And again, this is Tochi Ozan's first Kachikoshi since July last year. Yes, it's been a while. Tochi Ozan slips both arms inside, and that's his signature maneuver. Go to weapon, and Chiyomaru goes chest to chest. He drives Chiyomaru back, but Chiyomaru, look at his footwork. Circling around, and he stays inside the ring. Fights off Tochi Ozan for a moment, but Tochi Ozan regains a nice position and wins by Oshidashi. It's Daiei Sho against Chiyo Shoma. Both men losing record this time. Daiei Sho's fierce thrusting attack pretty much has been denied this time. Chiyo Shoma is fighting aggressively, but wins are hard to come by this tournament. Daesho pushes Chiyoshoma back, but the Mongolian slips both arms inside of Daesho. Daesho is now in trouble. Chiyoshoma goes for the Watenage, or Watedashinage, pulling over on throw, now buries his forehead, chugs ahead, keeps up the pressure, has a firm right hand outside grip, drives Daesho back, and Daesho cannot resist anymore. So, Daesho, that's his ninth loss, four and nine, Chiyoshoma, the same record. Oshoma! Although they have a losing record, 
This time, uh, the two gave everything they had. It's great to see that the, these two, Rikishi with Makekoshi Records, giving everything in their arsenal. And Chiyo Shoma has the upper hand from start to finish. He has a strong grip with his right hand, keeping up his offensive attack. Daesho unable to generate any kind of offensive maneuvers. It's Takara Fuji versus Abi. They are meeting for the very first time. For Takara Fuji to succeed, he has to get his favorite right hand outside grip. Abi has to go 3-4-3 three three to keep his Kachikoshi streak alive, which now stands at 9. Abi with a Moro Tezuki double arm thrust, but he goes backwards. Abi recovers and keeps up the attack. Takara Fuji advances, but Takara Fuji hits the deck. Abi circles away and slaps him down. Takara Fuji has now lost on four consecutive days. Good Hatakikomi slap down at the edge by Abi. He is now six and seven. Takara Fuji trying to outmuscle his slender opponent, but Abi refuses to go out. Takara Fuji unable to get any kind of arm hold or arm grip on his opponent. Abi uses his quickness at the edge. Tamawashi facing off Chiu Taiyu right here. Both men five and seven. And this is a slobber knocker. Chiu Taiyu leads seven to four in their 11 meetings. Tamawashi is really good at applying Otsuke and Nodowa stiff arm to his opponent. Chiu Taiyu can rock his opponent as hard as anybody in the game. Even Stevens at the Tachiyai, the two exchanging haymakers. Tamawashi plows ahead and Chiu Taidu goes out. Chiu Taidu suffers a Makekoshi losing record. It's his second consecutive Makekoshi for Chiu Taidu. This man. And third straight win for Tamawashi. And he still has a pulse in terms of making his Kachikoshi. So Tamawashi advances to six and seven. And Tamawashi had more power in his thrusting attack, and Chiu Taiyu pulls, and that's a mistake. Tamawashi gains a lot of ground. All right, let's go to Shohozan against Endo. Shohozan is the man who gave Kakuryu his long setback. He wants to finish strong. Endo has returned to action on day 10, but since he has come up empty in all three bouts. A right hand slap by Shohozan. Shohozan takes Endo to the edge, but Endo recovers. Shohozan's punishing Endo with a slap in the face and numerous thrusts. Endo wants to stop his charge, but he cannot. Shohozan stays aggressive from start to finish to get by Endo. So Endo is now three, eight, and two absences. Shohozan, six and seven after 13 days. So if he can pick up two more wins on day 14 and day 15, he will have his Kachikoshi. A right hand slap. Endo, well his game plan was simple. Get any kind of hold or arm hold on Shohozan. Shohozan moving at all times. Endo having a hard time locating Shohozan. Shohozan advances and good pushing attack. It's Mita Keomi versus Koto Shogiku. Both men seven and five and both men have a chance to make his Kachikoshi. Mita Keomi is desperate to score one more win to secure his Sanyaku status. Sanyaku is either Sekiwake or Komusubi. Koto Shogiku's Kachikoshi is on the line too. Mitakemi gains an inside position quick and he goes after Koto Shogiku. Koto Shogiku doing everything he can, hoping to shake off Mitakemi. Mitakemi is relentless in his attack today. Koto Shogiku doesn't go out. Mitakemi starts a drive and this time Mitakemi Finishes off what he started. 
Mitakemi is the winner. Koto Shogek is slow to get up. Koto Shogek now 7 and 6. But Mitakemi with his Kachikoshi. With the win, Mitakemi will secure his Sanyaku rank either at Komusubi or Sekiwake for the ninth consecutive tournament. He will be a Sanyaku Rikishi in July. Quite an accomplishment, and the fans, the faithful, enjoying Mitakeumi's victory. Toshogi comes in low, but look at the both arms inside right away by Mitakeumi. Mitakeumi trying to shut down Koto Shogiku's offense, and Mitakeumi keeps up the pressure. Mitakeumi stays tight with Koto Shogiku. Koto Shogi cannot shake him off. He shook him off. For a little while, but Mitakemi gains an inside position right away. Morozashi drives Koto Shogiku back to the edge, and Koto Shogiku this time unable to counter. So here we go, the undefeated leader Toshinoshin, 12 and 0 against Shodai, 7 and 5. Now Toshinoshin leads the series 5 to 3, but Shodai won in the March contest. Tochinoshin pretty much has punched his ticket to Ozeki promotion. Now he is totally focused on winning his second title. Shodai's Kachikoshi is at the doorstep. Will he get it today? And can he beat Tochinoshin for the second consecutive time? <laughs> Tochinoshin with a hard charge. Shodai pushes him back. Tochinoshin goes low and drives, but Shodai pulls him down. Did Shodai remain inside? I think he did. The Gyoji referee says he, sa he stayed inside, and the five judges agree. Shodai wins and hands Tochinoshin his first defeat of the tournament. Tochinoshin now 12 and 1. Shodai scores his Kachikoshi, his first in three tournaments. Things did not work for Tochinoshin today. After beating uh, Yokozuna, the top dog Hakuho, yesterday. Here he goes. He kind of wanted to push his opponent away, not going for his mawashi at all, but Shodai giving a good resistance. And at the edge, Shodai tippitoes on the Dohyo Dawara, the straw bales, and he stays on top of it. Oh, Toshinoshi wanted to get the outside grip, but Shodai showing good defense. Shodai not allowing Toshinoshi to get any kind of grip. And Toshinoshi having a difficult time with Shodai. And Shodai takes the match. So it's Ikioi now facing off Hakuho. Ikioi 8 and 4, a decent record. Hakuho 10 and 2 after his loss to Toshinoshi on day 12. Let's see if Hakuho can bounce back. Ikio is challenging a Yokozuna four for the second consecutive day. Hakuho needs a victory to stay in the championship race. Cannot afford to lose on back-to-back -back days. Hakuho gets his go-to weapon right away. The left-hand outside grip and marches, but Ikio works his way back to the middle of the dojo. Hakuho with a strong grip and is still the man with advantage. Ikio tries to budge Hakuho, but the Yokozuna stays right where he is stationed at. Hakuho being very patient and waiting for his opportunity to attack. Ikio once again wants to start the drive. Hakuho takes Ikio to the edge. Hakuho uses his left hand, Uwate, and hurls Ikio to the deck. The Yokozuna had to work hard for his win today, but he gets it. Hakuho bounces back from his defeat yesterday. Ikioi a bit slow to get back up, but he seems to be all right. Ikioi now 8 and 5. Hakuho remains at two losses. 11 and 2. So Hakuho stays right behind those tournament leaders at the moment. Hako right away has the strong grip and he attacks but unable to put Ikioi away, but Ikioi is in trouble. Hakuho being again very patient today.
taking a lot of time but waiting for his golden opportunity to go in for the kill. Ikyo gets driven back and Hako knows what to do with the left hand overarm grip. Uwate Dashinage pulling overarm throw for Hakuho. Now it is Kaku Ryu and Ichinojo, the final match of the day. Kaku Ryu 11 and 1, Ichinojo 7 and 5. Kaku Ryu doesn't overwhelm his foes anymore, but he's so clever and has great instincts that can help him find a way to win. Ichinojo must win one more with three days to go to stay at the third highest Sekiwake rank. Here we go, the final match of day 13. A left hand slap by the Yokozuna and he finds himself deep inside of Ichinojo. Kakuryu does the Makikai, the switching of the grip, and he now has a Morozashi double inside grip. Kakuryu pulls Ichinojo closer to him and marches. Ichinojo is fighting hard at the edge, but the Mongolian behemoth gets taken out by the Yokozuna. So Kakuryu remains at one loss, and the exciting thing is the two co leaders. Kaku Ryu and Toshinoshi will go head to head tomorrow on day 14. We're headed for a collision course. Nine straight victories for Kaku Ryu after dropping his match on day four. So Kaku Ryu is on a roll. Look at the, the Makikai with his left hand. He gets a double inside grip now. And he stays tight with Ichinojo. Ichinojo very high. Kakuryu stays lower than Ichinojo. Drives Ichinojo back to the edge. And Ichinojo cannot fight back. Kakuryu takes the match. Once again from another angle. Left hand slap by the Yokozuna. Yokozuna has a right hand in first. But watch the Makikai. The switching of the grip right there. And he gets a double inside. And now Kakuryu finds himself with a huge advantage. Kakuryu doesn't hurry anything. Kakuryu knows that he has Ichinojo at the corner. Ichinojo at the edge cannot resist anymore. So that'll do it for day 13 of the May tournament. Kakuryu wins, but the tournament leader Tochinoshi lost and Hakuho delivered. So you looking at the leader's board, everybody is in the game. Kakuryu and Tochinoshi will face each other in what could be the biggest bout of the tournament tomorrow. So folks, don't miss the showdown on day 14. Kakuryu versus Tochinoshi in the co-leaders, head to head. Please join us again tomorrow, day 14. Sayonara.